Thank you to Vichitika from Technicon and today I'm pretty exciting and I will say I'm pretty damn proud to say that we reached 500 subscribers guys and I think uh, you are one of the subscribers you are watching this video or if you're not just don't worry guys you can subscribe now we create awesome tutorial for you guys now uh, it's awesome or not it's depend on you guys you just watch the feed video and then show me now as the celebration of this final subscribers let's sip some soda guys first uh, let me sip some first and for you I got a special gift so I'm done sipping soda so let's take some excitement out of this tutorial because it's a 400 subscriber special I have to be a lot more certain about my other tutorials they are just common base now uh, I actually bring this tutorial uh, pretty previously ago but uh, I think actually I was saying for this moment this tutorial is exactly for this moment and from this moment on let's get on started without wasting any time and later on we're gonna celebrate about 500 subscribers so let's get the tutorial what we are doing now the topic will be parallax scrolling effect and usually you did this in Adobe Muse if you ever use it's actually pretty tough to code but it's actually not just pretty, it's pretty damn easy to code using JavaScript you can achieve uh, even uh, it's actually took me along five minutes to do this effect let's take a look on it so here I have a simple project you can see here it's actually image let me scroll see you can see the effect it's working uh, actually the what the scene is here is actually this one is scrolling with normal speed but this image is scrolling with actually less speed than the normal speed so you can see it's look like the div or you can see this content area is covering or covering up the image and that's what it, the parallax scrolling is guys because uh, that's only the thing is you have two elements scrolling with different speeds so that's what a parallax scrolling is so let's get started in it um, without wasting any time so we have I actually have a basic HTML setup I don't have a JavaScript setup we later on gonna code it so let's take a look on the HTML now HTML is a lot simpler you just have an image tag uh, with height of 7 and 10 I will be providing uh, the whole project section below in the there will be link in the description go on download guys and play with that that's a lot easier now here I have a with 100 person actually I want it to cover the whole damn area of the width so it's covering 100 percent I just declared in here I don't have to go with the CSS in there so and here's a div just it's have a content so make sure uh, I, I have something on the page to slide with the normal speed uh, and let's get into the CSS that's it we done for this example we have a style let's get in the CSS this you can see this property this property is usually is a reset property which actually just go with the default margins and paddings just remove the browser default margin paddings that's what it does here I have a image you can see the ID image is applied here and ID co uh, content sorry for that it's ID content now here I have a position relative so it's it's make sure you have a position there because without this that position you cannot do this effect because uh, I'm gonna later on sh uh, show tell you the reason why so let's uh, here have a z index minus one so, uh, and this actually there is ar arranging like a layer like in a Photoshop if I have a layer above a layer uh, if I have a layer uh, of above a layer so it will be above that element not below it so this is what it does in then just uh, layering all the elements I have a content which is the this diff just have a height of 750 to get some room to scroll down and achieve this effect and a width of 100 percent as same so we have a, a margin top I we don't need to be this because I got some issues so I usually did it you guys uh, might not need this uh, and you have a background color of a hash BDBBAC. It's actually a blue, lightish blue color. And you have a position relative. Sorry, it's actually green. Yeah, light green color. Sorry for that. And we have a position relative. And the next one, so it stays above this image. It don't go below this image. So that's what it does. We, I think that's done with the CSS tool. It's got scoring in the script. 
uh, sorry yeah let's get started we write a script tag so we have a script and let's create some variables for that first y pause and second we just wanted uh, image to be link so image and uh, sorry for the noise coming from the keypad it's actually annoying but i don't have any solution to do remove the sounds if you have just uh, tell me in the comment i love to have it now create an event list from like the previous tutorials we did so window dot add event list so this is it now let's create a scroll so this will be on a scroll and comma now we want to execute some function as comp as we seen in the previous tutorial if you didn't watch it uh, links are in the description go on or you can click on the screen here which will be taking you to that tutorial uh, which might be already having a lot of explanation uh, what this tag does uh, I given in that tutorial so uh, let's create some function like parallax uh, yeah did it and give us a colon we did it and let's create a function which will be a parallax first, first of all create a function and you can see this parallax and we don't need an argument at all in it so we're just gonna remove that argument let's get with the y pass first of all oops sorry I'm actually making a lot because in my front of it I can't see the keyboard because there's a pop filter blocking my way <laughs> so y pass is equals to now uh, in previous section we watched this y pass is actually taking the uh, y after of the page so to do that you just write window dot oops y offset window dot page y offset so y capital uppercase o uppercase f f s c t and give a semicolon that's it we did it and then we have another variable which will be image and which will be equal to uh, document so document m e n t get element we have to link it with the element by id so uh, we want what the id is the id will be uh, the same as you can see in the here which will be image give us a semicolon and let's done do something now this is the last step i think and it's a lot easy so we will take the image dot uh, we will take its style property which is css and the top top property and this is why i uh, told you to uh, do a position because with the, without the position there's no top property available so we did position relative we can use absolute that to work fine or fixed i think that too works uh, so uh, let's uh, do is it will take the y positions y pass and multiply it by a smaller number like uh, actually if i multiply it by some sort like 0.4 and give a plus sign and add a unit of it so we will be unit adding it pixels and semicolon now what it taking us it's just taking the y position y offset of the page multiplying by the 0.4 and applying this value which i got in the pixels and just applying to the top let's take a look in the browser here we have it you can see it's working and even even more of things is if i switch this to one it's actually doing it just uh, didn't scrolling this at all so you can see this uh, hideout effect i actually love it and this is this example one I saw on the YouTube. It's done in the Adobe Muse, uh, but I didn't able to figure it out. But I'm now able to figure it out how it was done using JavaScript. But it was done in the script Muse. Uh, you can even use Muse, but it's a designer tool. You might be not be getting this information in it. So if I do it by point uh, higher the number like point five, and I, I I have to be giving you some certain uh, information about it. Just don't go above one 
it will be a lot messy as compared to what I saw. So don't go above one or you might get uncertain results like if I have the point eight, uh, point eight something, just multiply point eight. Refresh it. You can see this parallax scrolling effect is working fine. You can have your content up here and that's it guys i think we did with it we're done with the tutorial and i think you guys might love it so hit hit the thumbs up give us a comment and subscribe if you want more so thanks for watching guys nick logging out from technotot